Hello and welcome to this lecture on setting up an, a Meraki dashboard account and adding your first Meraki MX device. So first and foremost, you can have uh, you can create your account here, and then you can verify and you will be successfully logged in. So I already have an account, so I'll be entering it here. there and uh, let's see let's go to the inventory there so as you can see I'll blur this out because I got the ser serial number of the device but uh, as you can see we have one device here that is claimed but is not assigned a network. So if you have not claimed the device, you can just press this here, claim. And then you can add your device here. So you add one per line. Here is some information. Then you just claim it. Sometimes you will have some spaces because if you copy it directly from the email, email received from Cisco, but just paste it in a notepad and then uh, copy paste from the notepad and uh, there should be no errors on claiming it after that you will see it here as I am seeing this one here uh, click this one add to as you see I have Boston site if I want to I can create a new network instead so let's do that let's take uh, test network here as the name and uh, let's choose default Meraki configuration, combined hardware. And we tick this box here. Then we just create the network. As you see, it's pretty straightforward. Now this device is assigned, assigned to the test network. So if we go to inventory, we'll see that it is assigned to the test network here as we can see here now if we want to remove this site or we want to remove this uh, device from the test network we'll have to go to the test network so we go to the appliance status so if we want to remove this Meraki device from the network we just scroll down and then as we can see here remove appliance from network and we just, as you see now, we can remove it from the, from the network. Just press remove. After we've done that, we can go to the inventory. Now we have no network assigned. And now we can even unclaim it. Because if we want to add this Meraki MX device to a new organization, we'll have to unclaim it from this dashboard. So let's do that. Let's unclaim it. There, so now it's unclaimed. And we only have our device here that we have previously, previously online. So, th so that's how you start up and... Uh, and create your first network and account and there's also some settings here actually and then here we will see something so here we have the two-factor authentication so we force users to set up and use two-factor authentication so users that first log, on, log in to your Meraki dashboard will be forced to use two-factor authentication also, you'll force users to choose passwords different from their past. So you have some options here. You can force them to have strong passwords, lock accounts after some consecutive failed attempts, and also log out users after. Also, we could allow actually some uh, 
ranges to to reach this dashboard. So that is uh, something a added security feature if you only need the Meraki dashboard to be accessible for example from your home network then you can add your public IP address here. So here is some a starting point for your Meraki dashboard account. So once you have done that you're ready to check on and uh, enroll the MS, MR and start to configure your Meraki devices. So that is all for this lecture and uh, thank you for watching. Bye.